what she up to now day 2168 sharon horn else from here let's talk about rating ourselves on our level of growth where we think we are with respect to growth personal growth and development professional growth and development whatever growth means to you we defined growth as part of this year's let's grow annual challenge yesterday and now today we're saying okay if that's my definition of growth where am i on a scale of one to ten one not so much growth or almost none and pretty stagnant versus 10, uh, absolutely a lot of growth and change and personal improvement and development and skills addition, whatever is important for you when it comes to growth. And then for supersize your business today, and for the first few, three weeks plus, maybe longer of this year, I'm sharing the top 20 strategies to grow and build and supersize your business. Top 20 strategies based on my personal experience and other people's experience when it comes to what are the strategies we need to grow and build and supersize our business? And what are how can we boil that down to four simple steps? Just four steps to test and implement that strategy. If it's a strategy you've never used before, you don't want to dive deep into all the nuances of implementing it. You want to test it out. And I say there's four steps for each one of these strategies that we can use to implement the strategy. So, for example, today's is strategic partnerships, which is actually one of my very favorite ways to grow and build and supersize my businesses because I know the power of teaming up with other people and collaborating to achieve things that would take me so much longer on my own than when I team up with people that I've already done or are doing and are reaching the people that I want to reach. So step one of that is, is of course, research people that you could do strategic partnerships with. Uh, learned a long time ago a thing called the Dream 100 from Russell Brunson. Gosh, it's been years ago now. Uh, and he, you know, perfected the concept of the Dream 100, and other people have taken that concept even further. But basically, it's make a list of all the people you would ideally love to have be clients of yours, do business with, do partnerships, etc. I have several different lists. One is people I want to collaborate with, or be, or do work with, or or partner with, and then one group of people that are my ideal customers and clients. And and I have I actually have several other lists too, but those, you know, my favorite authors, things like that. I'm a list gal. I like lists. I like to be able to find things. I like to add people to lists and find ways to like uh, segment my brain. My brain is busy and so it needs as much decluttering and chaos uh, removal as is humanly possible. So lists do that for me. So the second thing we need to do is make sure there's a value proposition in it and that it's a win-win for both parties involved. Nobody's going to partner with you if there's nothing in it for them. Maybe it's just providing a great product or service to their customers. Maybe it is to help them expand their customer list or customer base. Did a summit a few years ago uh, with 30 plus different women business owners and we talked about customer acquisition and, and how do we get more customers for our business and we shared our strategies for doing that on that summit and everybody got access to the list of everybody that participated in the summit and could send them a free offer and put them on their email list, etc. So there was something in it for everybody to do and participate in that summit. Uh, that was the value proposition. And there was something for the the, client, the people that watched and participated in the summit. They were able to get all of the you know 30 plus different strategies and systems for bringing customers and clients into their business. Uh, step three, formalize agreements. This one I didn't used to always do, but I highly recommend it right off the bat. Document and write down your expectations. Who's going to do what? Roles and responsibilities, timelines, et cetera. Uh, so that there's no, you know, hard feelings ever that somebody didn't know something or didn't understand something. It's to hold ourselves and other people accountable to what we say we're going to do. And finally, step four, do collaborative marketing. I didn't used to always require this either. My very first summit, it was, you know, voluntary. If you wanted to market it, great. If you didn't, that was okay too. And the people that marketed it to their group had a lot more success with the summit than people that chose not to. And so I learned that that's just going to be something I make part of our agreements. Hey, if we're going to do a project together, we want both our audiences to benefit. And we want both our businesses to benefit. So we're going to make sure that we have and do agreed upon marketing. Uh, so that was it for today's strategy. Again, I'm taking each of these strategies and breaking it down into four steps that we could use as a checklist. I actually might turn it into a checklist. I thought of that this morning. I think I'll turn it into a checklist and make it available to people in that group. All they have to do is ask and they can have a copy of that checklist. And they can say, hey, Am I doing this strategy in my business? Yes or no. 
do I want to test it out? If I do, here's four steps. We're just going to do a quick and dirty test of it and see what kind of results we get. And if we get results, maybe we'll go more in depth and learn more and, and put in a bunch more steps and detail out because each of these items, we could, we could spend months learning how to perfect that, you know, coming up with uh, informalizing agreements. That's a whole legal thing, right? I will probably seldom if ever, I will never write my own documents, especially legal documents. That's what my lawyer is for. Uh, because I don't have that level of expertise that I want in, in different business areas and in different projects. So that's what I'm working on. Still have COVID, so a little slow, but I will pick up my pace as I start to feel better and get organized and get going in 2024. Uh, definitely been a very slow start to 2024. I kind of feel like I'm in slow motion. But if I can help you anyway, hit me up and ask. Otherwise, I am just chugging away here and will uh, be hitting the ground running pretty quickly here. All right. Have an awesome day. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.